It's been nearly five years. Five years of fond memories. It's going to be difficult saying goodbye to this place, but I won't be able to leave town without saying goodbye to those who made it so great. Drift, you were only my neighbor for a short time, but I thank you for being one of only a few to prevent me from being lonely on the eastern side of the river. You were a great next door neighbor that made a lasting impact and taught me to always dream big. Pango, you have only been here for less than a week, but you have already exceeded my expectations. You appear snooty, but surprisingly are not. I will always remember you as the one who shed tears within seconds of arriving in town. Rolf, you snuck into town like a ninja and immediately found yourself sick. Considering who you live near, I can't say I'm surprised, but you've stuck it out and have integrated yourself into the town possibly a little too well. I can't say I approve of your attempts to split up my favorite feline couple, but I still think you're one cool cat. Cube, you've been around since the very beginning, and it is amazing that you are still here. I cannot begin to guess how many times you informed me that you had to move away. But there was always something about you that made me want you around. It could have been that you were an original, or that you were so darn cute, or that you maintained the most adorable catchphrase of anyone else in town. I'll miss you, Frosty Pop. Gloria, I really didn't think much of you when you first moved in, but I later got to know the Gloria deep inside, the Gloria that only wanted someone to talk to. From then on, your sassiness provided light to the darkest days, and while it sometimes felt as though you were hitting on me, eh, you made up for it with your good attitude and witty remarks about other townsfolk. Eunice, one of the biggest competitors I have ever seen. The first fishing tournament let me know that you meant business, but on those mornings where I couldn't sleep and needed someone to talk to at 5 a.m., you were there with your sweet, upbeat personality, ready to perk me up and ease my mind. Willow. Who knew one of the tiniest bodies in town could hold such a big personality? It was almost as if you were ready to bust every single day with the latest gossip. You were the replacement for my original arch nemesis, Cookie, and I could never repay you for coming in when you did. Moths just loved you. And while you talked a big game when it came to your design sense, your home decor was simply awful. I still think you're great, though. Felicity. The best gal pal a guy could ever ask for. I actually remember not liking you at first. The peppy personality threw me off, but I eventually learned to adore you. And you gave me a reason to visit that narrow nook on the far west of town every once in a while. That is, on the rare occasions that you were actually home. <laughs> I remember it took three months for me to actually see what your house looked like, and it took even longer for you to finally come out with who you had a crush on. You're like, super awesome, and I'm like, totally gonna miss you. Harry. <laughs> oh, Harry. I know I used to push you around, plant pitfalls at your feet, send you hate mail in hopes that one day you would finally get the point. And Rowan. Wow, I can't believe I'm saying goodbye to the best tiger, no, the best friend ever. Whenever Boone was around, it was always as though you were playing second banana. But when he left so suddenly, you were there to perk me up and remind me that you were just as hardcore if not more, than he ever was. You had me at your very first mango, and I couldn't have asked for anyone better to spend my time here with. Take care of your girl Felicity as well as the others. You're definitely the leader of the pack now, 
Like the Scarecrow and the Wizard of Oz, I'll miss you most of all. And just like that, it is time to bid the sleepy town farewell by doing what I've done after everyone before me has gone. It is time to plant a flower in front of the plot in which my house was built to signify my leaving this beautiful place once and for all. No matter where I go, this town will always be considered one of my homes. But for now, it is time for me to move on and leave this place. Farewell, Hooklin. You have given me many years of happiness. However, I've turned over a new leaf and have begun a new life.